to harmonize one's relations, filial piety is the most effective model. The holy teachings of Buddha Nanping Dao Ji. Are you a burden to your parents? As a Dao cultivator, you must not be your family's burden. And furthermore, you should let go of your delusions and blind attachments, which are actually your own burdens that keep loading you. Look at the banana and its peel. Where do they both come from? Isn't it from the root of the same tree? Without that root, could you have this banana? It is a great lesson that heaven wants us to learn. As the Chinese proverb teaches us, trees have their roots and waters have their source. So who is your root and source in the family? Of course, it is your parents. Everyone must understand his or her road of life. Being the children of our parents, we are obliged to love, respect, and honor them. It is our duty to always be obedient and mindful towards our parents, constantly watching our words and behavior, treat our parents always with kindness and pleasant countenance. This is the basic of Tao cultivation. To harmonize one's relations, filial piety is the most effective model. It helps us maintain a kind, righteous heart in our daily life. It helps us fulfill the virtues of benevolence, humanity, and justice. It helps us understand the truth in life that saints and sages used to teach the populace. And it helps us readily and willingly put brotherliness and filial piety into actual practice. This is the way of Tao. If everyone can take up his or her proper role in the family and fulfill it to the best of their ability, then the family will be filled with peace and harmony. On the contrary, if the brothers and sisters in the family are always fighting, can the parents be happy? If the parents are not happy, then the children are not fulfilling filial piety. Filial piety is not taking place in that family. Everyone must understand his or her role in life, especially in the family. This is most important if you aim to cultivate Tao. The father fulfills his duties as a father and the mother fulfills hers as a mother. Children love, respect, obey and honor their parents, constantly examine their behavior and expressions whether they are filial to their parents. Everyone has a role to play and their duties to fulfill. Only when we understand this and fully put it into practice can our family life be joyful, our society be harmonious, and world peace be truly realized. Remember to play your role of life completely and fulfill your filial duties to your parents. Be obedient and don't talk back in defiance of their wishes. Were it not for your parents, you would not be able to sit here listening to the Tao lectures. Were it not for your parents' toils and great efforts, who could support your family? Without your parents, how could you have food to eat, clothes to wear, and money to pay for your daily necessities? A person who is unfilial is actually inferior to an animal. It is a message familiar to all of you. As humans, we always consider ourselves to be the masters of all living beings, while quite a few animals to feed back their parents. We human beings should get to practice filial piety, so as to be entitled to what we proudly call as masters of all beings. For a deceased parent, Try all you can do to buy the best coffin and prepare the best funeral. But if your parents are still alive, did you often check the condition of their bed? Is it shaky or dilapidated to fulfill filial duty? You should be caring and understanding to your parents. Taking care of them without procrastinating, you will attest to the fact that if you are filial, your children will be filial too. If you are not filial, 
You can never expect your children to listen to you. This is the law of cause and effect. To err is human. Even your parents make mistakes, and yet they are still your parents and deserve your love and respect. Some people acquire a pretty high social status and despise their parents. They treat their parents like slaves and call them with shouting and yelling. Some people even throw over the dinner table simply because they do not like the meal. It may sound unbelievable, but it does happen. Indeed, the best way to avoid regrets for the misdeed is not to commit it. So let bygones be bygones, and from this time forward, just break your bad habit and be your parents' filial child. Giving your parents money or valuable gifts. It's good, but it is only the lowest level of filial piety. The highest level of filial piety is to leave behind your great virtues. Then not only yourself but also your parents can altogether benefit from the good result of your virtues. This is the pinnacle achievement of filial piety. As your holy teacher. I hope you all can be filial people, and hence, on the principle of filial piety, you can all attend to business and cope with your personal relations in a nice and harmonious way. Remember, no matter how many good deeds you may have done, everything would be in vain if you did not fulfill filial piety. In order to establish ourselves and change our destiny. Our heart should be filled with mercy and loving kindness, constantly showing our consideration for our parents and for all the sentient beings around the world.